Hi everyone, welcome in the first devlog of Prehistoric The Fire Rock. For the first steps of my video game's creation, I made the core mechanics of a survival game. The first day, I was really excited. I created the Unity project and I finally remembered that I didn't have any assets to work with. So I quit Unity and I opened Blender. I made different trees, bushes and some rocks. I also made some ground textures like grass, dirt or sand. I imported all these things in Unity and I made a little bit of level design. I started with two basic biomes, an oak forest and a pine forest. It was pretty cool, but I thought it needed some grass. Yeah, this is way better than before. And by the way, I made a new biome, the plain. As you can guess, it didn't take me ages. I also made some water to prepare the fishing and swimming mechanics. Thanks Binary Lunar for the tutorial. His shader is highly modulable, so I can use it for all types of water. And here's the last testing biome, the lake. All these biomes are only prototypes, but I like the concept. And I really have to make better trees. But I have so many other things to do for now. Here's the current map. You like my testing environment? Like the video. Once my world finished, I made the most important element of my game. Obviously, the player. Quickly, the player could look around and move. But there wasn't any gravity yet, so I added it and I made jumping by the way. I also made running and crouching. Then, it was time to make the inventory system, the main element of a survival game. For the moment, I'll make a basic inventory like in Minecraft or Raft. I first made a thing that I've never done before. I made my own font. That was a cool experience. I made a modulable UI, anyway, everything was going well. Until I have some problems of vanishing and other weird things. I spent a lot of time solving it. Too much time. Cause the solution was this. Yes. Inverting two lines of code. All this time wasted on this. Anyway, I finally made it. But I noticed that I forgot a really important thing. Just right here. The hot bar. So I made some more code and boom. Way better like this. Then I created some pickups. Cause without pickups, no resources. And without resources, no game. After that, I made the player stats. The life bar, the hunger bar, the thirst bar, and I also wanted to make an energy bar. That's a lot of bars, but that's okay. Plus, I'm thinking about moving the energy bar more like in the center of the screen. Cause by playing the game, it's pretty uncomfortable to look at this bar all the time. With all these bars, a real gameplay was coming to life. Now the player can die of hunger, I need to make some food to avoid that. I simply made some new bushes and their berries. These ones are way better than the old ones. By the way, do you remember when I said the player could die of hunger? Actually, he couldn't. So I made some modifications and a really beautiful death screen. Yeah, I know. Don't worry, I'll model the player and its animations soon. After that, I started working on crafting. Making the layout took me ages. I had to use a combination of lots of UI components to make things modulable. But I'm proud of the result. I also made my custom button animations. It looks very well. Next, I spent a lot of time making the script. It doesn't look like, but it's really complicated to display all the information from the crafts. Well, this is the result of 5 weeks of game creation. My player can already move, pick up items, craft new ones, and he must hit so he doesn't die. Now I have to make usable tools so the player can start shopping trees and mining rocks. I need to make even more items, I'll probably make some fire, and maybe the first animals so the player can hunt and get better food. Subscribe and activate notifications so you don't miss the next devlogs. Follow the game creation in real time on Twitter, talk about it on Discord and find a few images on Instagram. Also share the video with your friends, this would really help me. Thanks for your support, thanks for watching and see you soon.